what's going on YouTube this is BM cool 247 and here are a couple of things I ran into uh, on the last year or so owning the monoprice mini select uh, version 2 so the first part was the SD card the micro SD card the one it came with uh, printed and accepted most of the files that I uploaded into it which was fine uh, but you can't just buy any SD card. You can't just go buy a SANS disk uh, somewhere and expect it to work, which is what I did. And uh, yeah, it didn't, doesn't work. Um, but I did some research online and I found that the Kingston brand, um, this is the, S, the SD converter from micro SD to SD converter. The, the actual micro SD is already in here. This brand works. And I was able to print that guy uh, from uploading upon uploading the files from Thingiverse onto this SD card there. So that was the first thing I ran into. Uh, another thing I ran into when using this machine was when the nozzle, my old nozzle, um, which is here, I already there was a lot of plastic built up on it, so much plastic that it extended to this wire here it started getting this is new wire that i got but the old wire it started the plastic started getting onto it and then it was so hot you know uh, 200 degrees celsius that it started melting it and it it uh melted my wire as you can see there it broke off the the wire there the thermistor or the the thing that detected the temperature so it was no longer good so i had to replace the whole extruder head or extruder um, assembly which is why i took all of it apart um and which is why these wires are all out there i haven't put it all back together yet so that was the second thing i ran into which started leading to a chain of events after replacing this extruder head here I realized this thing was sticking out way too long because the extruder head wasn't exactly the same size as the uh, original one. So what caused what happened was this extruder head that was sticking out would hit my my build plate. Even though I can try to like higher or lower this build plate by the screwing or unscrewing this uh, these knots here, it wasn't enough for how much this thing was sticking out, which caused my third issue was it. Uh, since the extruder was like pretty much hugging the build plate as it was trying to print, the plastic wasn't feeding through. And I did that for way too long that it broke one of these blue pieces that exists right there. It broke my old one of that. So I had to go find and buy these new ones here. Uh, these were all bought on Amazon. Um, except the extruder had, mm, yeah, I think that was either Amazon or eBay, but so I went to replace that one um, and then before running it again I made sure to fix the extruder head from being too long far out so if you open it up inside you'll have this thread um, for mine was might have been too long so I noticed that it was too long so what I did was I cut it with a with a saw and I shortened it so then now the extruder head doesn't stick out so far and now it can print normally which is why i got this print uh going here so yeah there's a couple of things i ran into i also do not like this tower uh there's so many like screws and things you have to go through to in order to get to that but now that it's fixed hopefully for now i can tie these back up and uh, make them all organized so some things to be careful for some things to watch out um, so these are some of the things I ran into for the last year or so owning this machine. Uh, I mean, it's still great for its, for its price, 190 uh, or 200 around there is what I got it for. So if you guys want a starting machine and you want to learn a little bit about 3D printing, this is probably a good one to to start with at a budget. Um, and it's, it's pretty much ready to print out of the box as well. So not too much of a complaint there. Uh, so yeah, I have more printing to do, so I'll keep you guys posted with uh, what else I learned from that. And uh, leave in the comments what you guys learned from it or what experiences you guys have had with this machine so I could help benefit others uh, who have this machine as well. So thank you guys for watching and uh, BM Cool logging out.